I just bought this exercise machine for one chocolate bar. And what better use would it have than turning it into a sick and twisted soul trap that tases me the moment I stop exercising. But before we do that, this thing looks more dusty than my grandpa we buried last week. I'm not going to bring this dohiki inside without some gentle cleaning first. Alright, this shouldn't take too long. Get in the goddamn... Nothing a bit of rope can fix. How did that get in there? <laughs> this thing is heavier than a neutron star, just give me a break. Whenever I hop on my stationary bike to start exercising, it doesn't take a long time to quietly dial back on the effort where I'm barely even working out anymore. And there are no consequences to that. Yet. We're going to need a taser, we'll need a speaker. What's that for you, my desk? My f***ing 90 year old grandma can pedal faster than you with those ridiculous spongebob sticks you call feet, you lazy piece of shit! You might not have realized, but that was actually not my voice. I have used artificial intelligence to generate these voice lines which went as well as you'd expect. Work harder you dumb f***. Fuck the nash, about a hundred strigos. Foggy for a geisha pros, tougher than gluten topping. Then kick on the neck. Work harder you dumb f***. What? Since you're already getting some nice and uplifting motivation, why not get electrocuted too? This is a high voltage transformer. It makes small and big battery energy into loud and painful lightning energy. In other words, it has two output wires meaning we'll need two contact surfaces for each palm. I really wish this machine had two pair of metal contacts I could perfectly grab with my hand. Sadly that doesn't seem like the case, ok. The reason I'm not using these as pads is because I don't think they could handle high voltage well. Especially this part. Alright, I'm going to prison. So here we got the taser module which has the two outputs, one of which connects to this bottom pad, the second one to this top. And if I hold it just right... I can touch the two, which means I get shocked. This bottom pad is connected to this bottom pad, and this top pad is connected to this top pad. So we got full coverage of both palms. I'm not going to use this port, but I should at least test it if it even works. It doesn't work. I wonder why. Eh, anyway. So this is how it's going to work. Uh, sorry, wrong side. Uh, you pedal slow, you get tased. But how are we gonna know how fast I'm pedaling when I throw out the controller board and... What happened to my hair? <laughs> anyway... You see this ding dong bing bong flimsy sling slow? <laughs> Let's connect it to a multimeter and see what happens. Hear that? No you don't, because I set it to the wrong measuring mode. What we need is a continuity test, meaning if the two prongs electrically touch, you hear a beep. This machine seems to simply short the two contacts of the connector together at some point when I'm pedaling. With a simple button press circuit, we can measure how many revolutions the wheel takes in one second and display it on the screen. I have no idea how to code. I was coding was over one and a half years. What am I doing exactly? A bit of stack overflow. What's not easy is figuring out how to code this thing. It's not like I'm going to learn how to code by using ChatGPT. Placing my lack of coding skills with lies and the code design. that I wrote myself. Now I just have to program it. And by I, I mean ChatGPT. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Say it with me. I will not use ChatGPT. I will not use ChatGPT. I will not use ChatGPT. I use ChatGPT again. But it works. Check this out. Now it should work. It works. We got the display. Now we need audio. This is an MP3 player. You whip out your big black disc, also called the micro SD card. You put some files on it, and voila! Pedal faster! Just do it! 
Here's a high protein chicken quinoa bowl. Okay. A little update. It's almost midnight and I'm starting to get somewhere. But come on, what is that? Just suddenly doesn't work anymore. I think it's time to wrap it up for today. Why am I filming this anyway? The power bank is going to power everything you see here. Now I haven't implemented the sound effects yet, but I did add this thing and this thing. Let me show you how it works. You just press that button and then this button and it starts. Now you can see the target RPM. If the current RPM falls below that, this thing is going to start beeping. And if it's beeping for over 5 seconds, this relay is going to activate the taser. You can see I'm pressing this button and then I stop. It starts beeping. Now I just need to implement this part and wire up the taser. And the drum roll! Before we test this thing I added a couple of features that I wanna talk about. The first one is this emergency switch, you know, in case something happens I can just... It cuts the part of the taser in case the whole thing just starts a fire or something. I also added this circuit which is really interesting. It does absolutely nothing. Right below the circuit we have a speaker and right below that today's sponsor. PCBWay is a company who I work with for over a year now and I can happily say that they exceeded my expectations in many ways. They manufacture circuit boards, CNC cut materials, 3D print objects, laser cut sheets, band metals, anything you want really. It's really an affordable one-stop shop service for any kind of project you can imagine. They can also do PCB assembly which saves you tens of hours of soldering, which I took advantage of when I ordered this messy board for my keyboard project. If you want to check them out that's PCBWay.com and thanks again for sponsoring this video. Now let's test my abomination. Would you believe if I said that I didn't want to do this? Yeah, me neither. Okay, let's start. Oh no, I'm gonna regret this. Go! <laughs> I got scared there for a little bit. Lift those mother twig sticks, you bastard! We got the motivation helping us here. No, 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 go! Oh. <laughs> Starting to get tired. I must keep the pace up. No, no, no! <laughs> This is actually really scary. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did I put that in? This is so scary when it starts beeping. Yes, that came. Oh. Oh my god! Why am I doing this again? Go, oh, you! Always on the edge! Always edge! Just give me the chicken recipe already! I don't know. Oh. I gotta say this thing is really effective. Like, I slow down. I start panicking because I know that in five seconds I'm going to get aced. There is just no time to rest. And I'm already drenched in sweat. And I know if I didn't have this thing then I would have just stopped and just pedaled slow. But I cannot do that here because I'm going to get shocked. Just like now. You can see the sweat on my face. You know what, this thing actually worked better than I expected. If I just kept going, I could get a full workout in. I mean, okay, I like it, but what do other people think of this revolutionary device? You know the gym, right? Sometimes you start exercising and your motivation dwindles. I created this thing. Press this button and you press that. Oh! Oh! It's awesome. Has the speaker. Oh, it speaks to you. It's definitely motivating. 
<laughs> so any questions? Do I look like a person who needs this fitness uh, defamation machine? I mean, if you want, I can give it to you. Please don't. Please don't. Oh! Well, this was a disaster. If you want extra footage and bloopers, join my Patreon. I will also post the project files there as always. I also post free content there from time to time. Like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos and goodbye.